Hi, I'm Chuck Dorsett for Weaver Leather Supply, segment four in our series on using the inexpensive stamps. I am very happy with a number of these. In fact, there are tools here I'm going to use from now on. Now with this video, I hope you see a design in here that you like. We're going to look at some pretty cool combinations, but my bigger hope here is that you see a design that sends you in a whole new direction. All right, so anything I use in this video, weaverleathersupply.com or check below. We've got links there. Going to take you straight to the website. Also, if you want to know when our videos release, just click your notifications. You'll know exactly when these come out. So let's step over here, see what we've got. Let's start easy. We're going to use a basket weave. Now, this is a standard tool. Well, who doesn't love a beautiful basket weave? But it makes a great geometric tool as well. Well, let's back up a little bit. So right off the bat, my leather cased and ready to go. We're going to get a good impression on this. But also, as our designs start to get more complicated, we're going to need to create small patterns. Well, these can be as simple as just some holes. All we're going to do is drop in marks. So we can hit our marks with our tools. We don't see guidelines or anchor lines. That's one of the big points. But right here, we've seen this in the past for simply lining up a basket weave. Well, on this one, let's just take our time, but let's see what happens here. So. Let's start with a basket weave though. Let's get a good look at this for those of us who are new. I'm gonna drop in an anchor line. Let's take our basket weave and I'm gonna work both sides of this line. So we've got a standard basket weave pattern always looks good. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's turn this on its side. See if we've got a good design for a panel. Well, that's absolutely a basket weave in there but I'm starting to lose sight of the shape of the basket weave because now we're gonna have some other things going on. Let's add to this. I like that design. Now I could have lined this up a little bit better, which raises a good point. We can always make a simple pattern. Say we need to hit squares. Let's make a simple pattern. Therefore, we can draw in our squares We'll always over stamp that line, but it's going to make everything look good. Well, now again, I'm losing sight of the basket weave here. Well, how about we drop something in the center? We could always add a spot. That would look good. But let's see what we've got. Let's just pick up one of our geometric tools. See how this sits in here. Actually, it sits in there nicely. I like that. And the more detail I get inside my box, the less I see my basket weave. But again, if we leave this area empty, we have a very nice cross design right there. That does look good, okay? Let's try a different tool. Same, same geometric or a, a geometric stamp. Actually, that looks pretty good. Our lines tend to work together. Notice we've got the three lines, the center continuing across. I like that. Now that could have been laid in there a little better, but I think I like that. Okay, let's step over to another basket weave because this is more true to a basket weave in that it's gonna flare on the ends. So yeah, again, it's more like a true basket. Let's stack a few of these. So there we go, again, more like a true basket weave. Okay, well say we've got a larger panel to fill. Well, it's a little bit of a larger tool, but let's do the same thing.
Well, I like that design, a much larger project, that's gonna look good. Or a smaller project, say that we don't want so busy, that's gonna be a great way to go. And again, we've got all kinds of options right in here. Let's just drop in again one of our geometric, see what happens. Well, that actually looks pretty good. Let's try another. Actually, that seems to work pretty, though, pretty well right there. Well, I like that stamp, but again, proportion is going to play a big part in this. Okay, let's reset, jump over to another design. There are so many tools out there to choose from, hundreds of designs. But what I notice is I tend to use the same tools over and over and over. Well, where I'm going with that is I think to me, I like a very symmetrical, very balanced look. Well, be as creative or as abstract as you want to be. I hope you see something here that you like. But again, my bigger hope, I hope you find something here that leads you in a whole new direction. So back to this geometric stamp. This one is tough to line up. So to save us a little time, I've drawn in two grids, basically just a half inch square, but we've got the square and the, the diagonal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my, my tool right across the center, and I'm going to do my best to line up each arm. Okay, pretty good impression, cased leather. Now let's try to do that again. I'm going to do my best to get that line right on that. Now, when we line this up, it looks good. Like I said, that one's tough to line up, but it looks good, and we've got all kinds of opportunities. Now, I like the vertical and horizontal, but let's put this on a diamond. That, to me, is where it looks best. Like I said, it's a tough stamp to line up, but when we get it, that's beautiful. Now, I can't say I lined it up. I've got a couple in here, but overall, I love that design. We've got this cool six-sided design inside. We can leave that right where it is, or we can bring in another stamp. Love this tool. Now, next up, since uh, we've, we've actually seen this in the past, because I love this design. In fact, here it is. We saw this in the last video. Okay, well, let's turn this into a panel. So let's start right here. I'm going to bring in our smaller vayner, and I'm going to bow that inside. I love this design, but the vayner, we're going to have to take our time on that one. Make sure it lines up. But again, there's that design. I love that. Well, there's all kinds of things we can do to the center. So say I want to bring this out more, make this more visible. Let's add some more stamp in here. Yeah, there we go. So now that actually, to me, becomes a little bit more visible. Love that design. Okay, let's go with one more here before we move on, because this is a cool design as well. Let's jump back to this. Now, where we're going with this, well, let's back up. So right here, like I was saying, this is tough to line up. It's hard to get those two bars. But if we spread these apart and drop something in between, it makes it a little bit easier. So let's use that same tool. Okay, let's jump over to, again, a geometric, but really a background tool. I'm going to drop this in. Now, again, a pattern would be best here, but let's just get an idea of what this looks like. Well, I like that design. We've got a very checkerboard feel to it. 
Now I could have lined that up better, but still we've got this six-sided box on the inside. All kinds of ways we could go there, or again, we can leave it right where it is. Now we're just gonna throw this in here because this is a design I see often. This is our more expensive tool, worth every penny, absolutely. But we can make a pretty cool design with this. Well, that's actually the barb from our barbed wire set. But I like the inside design here. Again, we could do so much with that. Maybe a camo facing in on either side. Well, again, the more expensive tool. Can we do something similar with an inexpensive tool? Absolutely. Now, I didn't necessarily take my time on that, but too, notice how easy that one is to line up. Up here, not really the case, but again, I can get there with a little practice, but in fact, there's almost that same center design. That looks good. That'd make a nice design for a panel. All right, another reset. Let's see what we've got next. Standalone designs are simply designs that are gonna work by themselves. Say we've got a clutch or a wallet, maybe say a small pouch, and we wanna drop in one, maybe two designs that just work by themselves. Well, can we go simple? Absolutely. Are we gonna go simple? Yeah, probably not. No, really. But let's start right here. Back to a geometric. Good impression. Now let's jump over again to one of my favorite tools, simply the heart. And let's butt this right on each point. Well, actually, that's a pretty cool little design right there. Well, let's reverse our heart, see how this looks. Well, I like that design too. Our lines are matching up. Makes it look very consistent. How about we jump in with a camouflage tool and just span around our heart. Actually, I like that. It's a very symmetrical yet simple design. Okay, let's get a little more complicated here because now we do need a pattern. So all we have here is just a one and, one and a half inch by one and a half inch. But instead of marking the corners, I'm marking our center points. So let's drop this in. Good, there's our design. So let's come back in with our geometric and I'm gonna run, I'm gonna put that right on top of that mark. So we over stamp that. And over here, and one more, trying to keep these as straight as I can. Okay, let's come in with our, our larger veiner. Now let's bow this in, but I'm just going to go from below one point to just below the next. Well, I like the look of that. Okay, how about we drop in our camouflage tool coming back in from our veiners. Looks better and better. And here we're just brainstorming. We're just picking up stamps and see what happens. Okay, let's drop in technically a figure carving tool, but to me it's more of a camo. So with this, we could actually go in a number of different places. How about let's just see what happens. So let's drop that right there. Filling in, looking more and more complicated. Now we could always add this same tool on the outside. Say just to finish that off.
actually that's pretty cool, but relatively easy to line up. So let's leave this here, or how about let's add just one more. Let's say we drop this, but add it inside of our, or outside of our vayner. So many ways we could go, we could just keep adding, but I like the look of that actually where it is. Okay, let's do a reset, take a look at one more. Now this one's going to get complicated, we don't necessarily have to go this route, but it's more just an idea of what we can do with our stamps. Well, let's start again with our flared basket weave. Okay, next up, let's go again with our texture tool, but again more of a geometric, and I'm going to drop this right on the end of my basket weave. Okay, let's build our basket weave out from there. Okay, let's come in on all four sides again with our texture tool. Okay, let's expand on that. Well, I like that design and it's lining up so easily, okay? Let's use our smaller vayner, and let's just span our corners, see what happens. Love the look of that. We've got this circular design going, yet very square and symmetrical. Next up, let's drop a stamp right in between. We're going back to our geometric. Let's do our best to line this up. Well, that looks pretty cool. All kinds of things going on in here. Okay, say we just need to finish this out. We're just going to use it again, like say on a pouch, pouch flap or whatnot. Well, let's see. We could always go... How about with a camo, and let's drop this right here. Looks pretty good. Let's switch that up. Let's go back over to our flourish. And how about we drop this in right on our basket wave. Well, I like that. This obviously could go on a much larger project. Well, how about we drop in just another camouflage tool. Let's just see what happens. Well, that looks good. How about one on either side right here on our corner? Can't honestly tell what I like best, but that's the best thing about stamps unlimited possibilities. We could just keep going, but we're going to call it here. I hope there's something in here that you love. I'm not sure if there are enough projects out there to use all the cool stamp designs that we could come up with, but it's a lot of fun trying. The inexpensive tools, I'm very happy with these. Now, the expensive tools, are they worth it? Absolutely, and we can graduate up to that, but I've got tools over here I'm going to use from here on out. I hope this is good information for you. Good luck with your projects. Mm -hmm.